Let's start using Webpack. How can we use Webpack? If you follow the guide, it's gonna tell you that you need to run a command that's gonna bundle all of your JavaScript files. And uh, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to remove the main index.js from your package JSON. The reason for this is because we don't want to make the index.json as the entry point. Instead, we want Webpack to take over and bundle our uh, index.js. And we also need to add this keyword, private true. This is important in order to uh, create a bundle. And then in the creating a bundle, here it says that you need to move your index.html to the uh, to a, fo a folder, new folder called distribution or dest for distribution, short for distribution. And this is actually not mandatory. If you want to do that, you can do that. It's uh, it's up to you. But for just for the sake of simplicity, I'm not going to do that. And that's it. Let me now show you how you can apply all of these uh, things that are given here in the documentation. I know it's a little complicated, but let me show you how you can do that, how you can work uh, on that and uh, make Webpack work. So the first thing is that you need to open package.json and remove this main index.js. Remove it, and then here add a new, a new uh, key here called private, and the value is going to be true. And then comma, and don't forget to save. So this is the first step. Next, we want to use the npx command, the npx webpack, which is this command. Let me show you show you uh, that uh, that command here in the documentation. This command, what this command is gonna do is that it's gonna build your bundle. It's gonna take all of your JavaScript files and bundle them and add them only to one file called main.js, where you can use we can just use it in all of your uh, project files. So let's run this command and see what's gonna happen. Here I'm gonna type npx webpack and then I'm gonna hit enter and as you can see a new folder called dest here on the left side has been created and inside it we have a new file called main.js which is the bundle version of, you, of our JavaScript file. Here it says that the, um, the source slash index.js has been bundled or, or, uh, or built, and here this is the uh, bundle. Now, in order to um, use Webpack, we, all we need to do is just we need to use this file. Instead of using the index.js, we need just to go ahead and use the main.js. So in the index.html, all of what we need to do is that we need to remove this source index.js and instead I'm gonna use dot and then dest and then slash main.js. Let, let's now save and head on over to the browser to test. Now in the browser, if I refresh, guess what? jQuery now is working. So Webpack now made our jQuery library work in the browser and now it's working and there is no error in the console. The error is gone because Webpack made the required keyword. It made this required keyword work in the browser. The required keyword is now understood by the browser, which is one of the most important advantages that Webpack provides.